Hi, and welcome to our not episode of the upcoming Voice of Art podcast. This is a brand new podcast where we'll be talking about a range of topics that we think are important to share with young people with additional needs and disabilities. The first question I'll be asking is, what is your experience with participation? So what do you think about this, Robbie? Well, I've had, I've been in Atlas for, well, perhaps four to five years. Well, I've really enjoyed meeting the people in the group. Uh, I like sharing my points across in in Atlas sessions. I like sharing my voice across. Plus, the best thing of all, we get free food, which is sometimes Domino's pizza. Yeah, that's Which is absolutely delicious. Um, my experience of participation is over the years I've had many opportunities, may that be from being able to play rugby in some sports to being in, in Atlas for five to six years, where we've done many things throughout the time, as Robbie has said. And probably my favourite uh, experience of participation has been the scouting movement, as I've learned many skills throughout that, which has helped improve my confidence, make fun memories and enjoy the outdoors while learning loads of survival skills. So personally for me, I can't really think of what participation was to me in school or when accessing services. I didn't really do it. I didn't really participate um, and I don't work and university is so independent. So you don't really have the chance to participate. So the only experience I have of the concept of participation has been throughout working with Atlas. Um, When I joined the participation groups, I was mostly non-verbal. I experienced situational mutism a lot. Um, But once I started doing work with the UVP team, it's been my only chance that I've had to participate. And now I talk and you can't really shut me up. So it's really boosted my confidence. Um, When I joined, I listened to one of the young people that was already here talk about how he also didn't get choices and options to participate in his care or other things. Um, And he spoke about how it gave him the freedom to kind of have a chance to speak his voice and have his own opinions. And I think that's what motivated me to join. Yeah, those are some really good answers. Also, UVP means user voice and participation team because I feel like a lot of people probably will not know what that means. So the next thing we'll be talking about is accessibility. So what do you think about this, Ryan? Uh, I believe that accessibility is very important to everyone, no matter what their background is or whatever their challenges are, as it means you get an equal opportunity to everyone else. My examples of accessibility are I've now got access arrangements for my exams, so I am more likely to be able to do as well as I'm capable of doing. Uh, This is also important as then it can create the opportunity for groups like Atlas where you can try and help other people have the same accessibilities or improve the accessibilities to be more beneficial. So I think accessibility is important as it is needed to have inclusion. I mean, if something isn't accessible for people, then they can't be included in it. Um, I suppose inclusion is just people being included and when things aren't accessible, they can't be included. I think everything should be done to make something accessible. You do hear from a lot of places that, you know, when they need to do a bit more for someone to make it accessible, they get put off. And then it means that other people end up getting left out because it's not accessible. There can't be inclusion. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand, inclusion and accessibility. Accessibility is key to inclusion. I think there needs to be better access for people with additional needs and disabilities. One, what I say by this, um, a lot of the buildings are implementing this. For example, modern buildings are now having lifts, refuge points, easy access, lower ground, same level street to door, um, as well as in some of the older buildings, they're now having stair lifts installed or lifts, and, but also for emergencies over that chair, so a person can be trained to take a person downstairs in this type of chair. They're also, in an office, they need to have some reasonable adjustments in, for example, a higher chair, um, a higher a desk you can raise and lower. Do you know what else? That's, that's it. Yeah, there's some good points there. 
So for the last question, why is it important to have groups like Atlas available? What are the aims of Atlas? So to me, I think what is important is the fact that we get to have the opinions of people in the services and this helps pave the way for improvements for future service users. And I think it's the improvement and the allowing us to have a voice and the opportunity to kind of have a say in the services that we access. Um, and I think the aims for Atlas is a lot of us want to achieve full co-production with like everything. Um, we want to be the ones up there sat on all of the board meetings. We want to be involved in all of the decisions being made in and about the services. Um, because this is the kind of thing I want. I want a lot more involvement in kind of the decision making and the creation of services for Atlas. I think reason why there's a lack of social groups for teen and young adults, there's a lack of volunteers in a lot of quieter rural areas, um, as, I, as I've just mentioned. There's a, there's, print, there's a few havens across the county. The big, the, near, the one nearest to me is probably uh, is Guildford, which is too far for me to go. Um, not many can access it to rural, as I say, rural areas. Working to get implemented to other havens around Surrey as well. And I think part of the reason why a lot of young people come to Atlas is they can, as I've said before, they can socialise. It's important to have young groups like Atlas available as it means everyone can have more uh, opportunities as Atlas helps with opportunities so much and helps improve services that do affect you on a week basis. Thank you for listening to our first ever introductory podcast. This was to introduce Atlas and what we do. For the next episode, we'll be discussing misconceptions about disability. Please check out our socials at Our Voice Surrey to find out more about what our team do. Bye.